Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Start. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2020 zombie horror film, The Clearing, a film that is written and directed by David Matalon, and it stars Liam McIntyre, Audrey Smith, and Stephen Swalding. Now, it's another zombie film. Uh, yes, another one. I think it's fair to say that this uh, genre and the zombie horror genre of films is is utterly swamped with movies um, now I did see the trailer for this one a few weeks ago and I thought it looked okay you know what I mean it's got there's nothing worse I think than watching a low budget horror film and it's shockingly bad now this this looked like it's got a, a decent production values around it it's got proper actors in it um, and it looked like they're having a decent attempt to make a zombie film so I thought I'd check it out basically based mainly on what I saw in the trailer and this film focuses on Liam McIntyre's uh, character Tom and his daughter Mira um, his daughter's a teenager they have a bit of an estranged relationship and he takes her away camping for the weekend to try and reconnect with his daughter however while they're away very inconveniently the zombie apocalypse starts and he has to essentially survive and fight his way through hordes of zombies to try and save his daughter that's the upshot of the movie and that really is it so what is my thoughts on the clearing well unfortunately what I look for in any new zombie film is something different now uh, or something just spectacular and we get nothing we, we don't get either of that with this film this is a pretty by the numbers zombie film um, the only thing they try and do differently here is it's it's not really um, the walking dead it's more like an infection um, and how it spreads it seems is like um, parts of their body will explode and if and if if what if what explodes and it looks like maggots and stuff lands on you you will become infected and become one of these uh, zombies essentially so that's that's the only thing it kind of does a little bit different um, and other than that it's I remember watching this film and thinking about uh, about 40 minutes in I remember looking and it was like 40 minutes into the film and I'm thinking um, has this film got anything else to offer because at that point all we were getting was uh, we got the initial uh, and I thought it was a, actually a good setup we got an initial uh, decent setup with him and his daughter and his wife and the believable dynamics of this family and all that kind of stuff um, so that there was a decent setup and there's a couple of setup and a couple of flashback scenes that all work reasonably well here um, but then all we get after that initial setup and the zombie outbreak starts is him imprisoned in his camper van uh, and periodically on the roof of his camper van trying to think of new and creative ways to get away from these zombies that have surrounded his camper van um, and not pretty successfully it has to be said for the most part so about 40 minutes in I just kept thinking to me, is this it and then predictably what this film does is introduces a new character after about 40 minutes and yes in your, if you're thinking in your mind what this character is think Tim Robbins War of the Worlds it's that type of character so you know exactly what's coming it becomes painfully predictable at, at, at that point um, in the film uh, which is a bit of a shame because I think there was a couple of missed opportunities here at the beginning of the film when they first park up and start camping they're invited to like this barbecue at these local locals who've got like camper vans out and things like that and they're all getting on and chatting and I think they could have spent a bit more time getting for us to get to know these other characters so that it had more impact when you saw them turn um, because all you essentially see is these hordes of zombies surrounding this camper van faceless zombies it would have meant more if um, you knew them I think um, and you would have had more to maybe aim for than just his daughter which is I know is, is um, enough to make anybody want to save somebody but I just think they missed an opportunity there 
it just literally became him in this camper van trying to figure out how to get out of this camper van and go and find his daughter um, and it never really becomes anything other than that so which is a real shame it kind of missells the film if you watch the trailer and things it it looks like him literally fighting through hordes of zombies like some kind of video game maybe like dead rising or something to try and get to his daughter and that's not actually the case um, he's, he's basically stuck in his camper van for much of this film or on top of the camper van trying to think of ways to get out um, it's okay there's a couple of effective scenes I'd be lying if I didn't say there was a couple of tension filled scenes there are they don't do too bad um, there's a couple of scenes that I think work reasonably well but not enough of them it's just a bit disposable as a zombie film it's, it's certainly not the worst zombie film I've seen not by a long shot um, but I was to be honest I was kind of hoping for more it's it's certainly watchable I would say if you get the opportunity to watch it and you're a fan of the zombie genre in horror films uh, you won't see anything new I promise you that but you probably won't end up hating it either so I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 it's a decent attempt ultimately I think a little bit of a letdown but it might be something you want to check out so that is my review for the clearing I hope you liked it I hope you enjoyed it if you found it useful don't forget to like the video and subscribe and all that good stuff and of course I will see you back for more content on screen stars really really soon thank you very much for watching everybody